The Lagos State Government has stated that the process of the construction of the proposed Fourth Mainland Bridge is on the cast and has assured the stakeholders that very soon preferred bidders will be announced. Special advisor to the Governor Babajide Sonwolu on Works and Infrastructure Olamide Adeoye stated this while speaking at the stakeholders' meeting on the project's environmental and social impact assessment held in Etiosa, Luki government area. Plus TV News correspondent uh, Love Ikuku Yudoku brings us details in this report. This is the 14th in a series of engagement with stakeholders on the project's environmental and social impact assessment. The meeting saw leaders and representatives from OK Ranla in Etiosa local council development area in attendance. We are happy that today we are taking yet another step into the future and that future is the fourth mainland bridge, which uh, all of you have uh, seen. We have seen the designs, we have seen the alignments, and we have also discussed the funding uh, model. And of course, the execution is uh, what we are going to be talking about at the next level. Anything that will reduce our travel time on this axis will be welcome. And uh, this fourth mainland bridge will definitely do that, which means if you're going to connect to Ikorodu, K2, you don't need to drive through the island and going through Oworoshoke and all that exists. The project director for the fourth mainland bridge project, Tokumbo Ajanaku, represented the special advisor to Sawunlu on works and infrastructure, engineer Aramidi Adeyoye. He speaks on the essence of the project. We are closing out on the environmental social impact assessment stage. And there is a need for us to come back again and again to the people so that we give them a full briefing, take their feedback so that all of us are clearly in understanding of what the project represents. Ajanaku, while thanking the communities for buying into the project, expressed hope that when the fourth Milan Bridge comes on stream, it will open up the corridors of that axis and cause businesses to boom. But ultimately, because of the constraints on infrastructure, especially road infrastructure, several businesses are um, either migrating or thinking of migrating. But when the fourth, the fourth Milan Bridge comes on stream, it will open up this corridor anew and afresh, allow for greater connectivity between the mainland and the island. The meeting afforded the stakeholders ample opportunity to seek answers to some of their concerns. There is this concern about some communities and families who feel their lands or houses have been, or properties have been taken away from them. So I just want to implore the government to try and you know, improve. I know they have been doing a lot, but I want them to improve on, you know, dialoguing or consultation uh, and even publicity. It is they expressed hope that the project will conform with the timeline that has been spelled out to deliver it. The Fort Milan Bridge is a 38 kilometre long bridge project conceived by the Lagos State Government. It is expected to become the second longest bridge in Africa on completion. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.